transform a simple photo like this into something like this, this, or even this. Let me start with a pretty cool trick and it is that you can upload and edit your photos directly from the Canva homepage without having to create a new document. On the upper right corner you will see a button that says upload. You're gonna click here and then you can either drop the files here or you can choose the files from your computer by clicking this button. I'm gonna drag my photo here. Canva is going to open the photo in this pop-up window and we have have a kind of hidden button that says edit photo. The button is here so let me click on it. The window you see here allows you to quickly edit your photos. Though you may not have access to all of the features you can find in the editor, it is still quite complete. So let me give you a quick example and then we'll dive deeper into the features that you will find in the editor. Here you've got three different sections that will help you in editing your images. We have effects, adjust and crop. In this section you'll be able to crop your image. So you have the free form option, like this you will be able to crop a little section of your photo if that's what you want. Let me go to reset and then you also have some aspect ratios so let's say that you want your photo to be square you can click on this option and then you can adjust the photo so you can crop out the sections that you don't want to see. You have some other aspect ratios in here and finally you also have the option to rotate your photo so you can use this slider or you can enter a value in here and hit enter. I'm going to leave my photo as it was so I'm going to click reset and then let's go to adjust. In here we have this button to auto adjust the image so let me click so you can see what's gonna happen. Canva has automatically adjusted the colors on this image and you can give more intensity to this edit or reduce the intensity by moving the slider to the left. I'm going to leave the intensity to zero and then you can continue editing your photo with the sliders and the options that you have in here. So I want to reduce a little bit the brightness in here, maybe bring more contrast and increase the saturation just a tiny bit. All of these settings that you see seeing here are pretty standard and you will see them in most of the photo editing platforms. Now let's go to the effects section. We see in here three different magic tools which are pretty pretty useful I use them a lot you then have filters and you can see more filters by clicking here there are different categories and you can discover more filters by clicking on these arrows if you want to see one of these filters on your image you can click on the filter and then you also have this slider so you can adjust the intensity of the filter on your image if you're not happy with the filter that you have applied to your image you can go up and select no I think I'm gonna stay with the Nordic filters so I'm gonna apply it and reduce the intensity and then go back. Down here you have effects so you can add shadows, you can play around with the focus on your image, you can add the blur effect, duo tone and then you also have a face retouch. Let me go back, I'm gonna play with this option here. I really like this one because it adds this portrait effect to the photos so so I'm gonna reduce the blur intensity just a tiny bit, go back and then let's add a face retouch. Okay, I think that's good. You can always compare your previous image with the edited one with this button here. So let's hold down this button to see the previous image and when you release the button you see the edited photo. So let me go back and I'm going back to adjust, add some contrast to the photo. Let's see what happens if I add more saturation to the photo, reduce a tiny bit the vibrance, maybe add some blacks go again to compare so I'm holding down the button releasing I think I'm liking this edited version I'm just gonna increase the whites a tiny bit and then let's go back to effects 
From here, you have two options that are available for Canva Pro users. With this one, you can remove sections or details from your photo. And with this one, you can change or replace things on your image. So I have a Canva Pro account and I'm going to show you how this magic eraser works. You will see that you can adjust the size of the brush of this magic eraser. So I'm going to leave it very small because I want to remove this white dots from my beanie. These are just tiny details but this is going to help my photo look more polished and more professional. I'm also going to remove this little cord in here. So let's see the before and after. Before, after. I am happy with the results so I'm gonna save this image. You can click on this button that says save and then you will have two different options. You can save it to Canva to use it later in any kind of design. Or let's say that you don't want to work with this photo in a design, but you want to upload it on your profile picture on Instagram, or you want to publish it as a post on Instagram. So you're gonna download it and save it to your computer. I'm going to save this photo to Canva as well to show you that the edited photo is then saved in the uploads folder on your Canva account. Now let me show you how to edit a photo in an existing design or in a template. I'm going to use a template so I'm going to search for coffee Instagram post hit enter. From here you can select any template. It will depend if you have a Canva Pro account or free account. You will see the little crown on the Pro templates. I'm going for this one. This one is free. So I'm clicking on the image and then customize this template. Now what are your options to add an image to your design? You can either go to elements and from here you can go to the photos section click here where it says see all and then you can search for anything that you need. So let's say that you need a coffee photo. So I'm going to search for coffee and use any of the photos available in here. Of course, it will depend if you have a Canva Pro account or free account. If you want to replace the photo that you see on your template, you simply need to drag your image over the existing one. So I'm dragging this photo over the one on the template and that's it. If you want to upload your own images, you can go to uploads, click upload files. You're going to select your photo, click open, and then your photo will be ready to be used. You can simply again, drag your image over the one in the template and then you'll be working with your own image. Now I can see that the text that we have in here it's a little bit difficult to read so let's edit this photo. I'm gonna close this window here so we can focus on the design. Now I'm gonna select the photo so we can access more tools on this white toolbar. From here you can flip your image so you can flip it horizontally or vertically. Going back I think I'm gonna leave the image like this. We can add transparency to this design. So let's move the slider to the left. And when you move the slider to the left, you will have access to the background color. In this case, we have a black color and it works really well in this design because we have a yellow and white text on top. But you can change this color if you want. So let me click here and show you that you can choose any color and like this you can have different looks on your photo. I think I'm gonna leave this dark brown in the background. Now let me show you a pretty cool feature that it is available only inside the editor. Let me go to elements and this time I'm gonna use this photo right here. Now having the photo selected we are gonna open the edit photo section. This is going to open this edit window and we have the same sections that we saw before in the homepage. So we have effects, adjust and crop. We have more features in here like for example the magic expand feature which is the same one we see in crop. We have here crop and expand. So let's go to effects and let me show it to you. This one is a Canva Pro feature. So let me click on this option. And now from here you can expand the image with the help of the artificial intelligence in Canva. And now we can select different sizes. We can fill the page with the image, so whole page, or we can make this photo a square format by clicking here. And then we have some other different formats. I'm gonna select 
select the option that says whole page and then click magic expand. Canva is going to generate four different options and you can preview them here on your design by clicking on them. So we have already the four images. We are seeing the first option, which actually looks pretty good. Let me see the second one, third one, fourth one. And let me go with the second one. If you don't like any of the four options, you can click generate new results. I'm gonna stay with this one, so click done. Now let's try some other editing tools. So let's go back to edit photo. And from here, let's play around with Duotone. This one, it's a pretty cool effect and very easy to use. You have a lot of different options in here, so you can select any of them and automatically change the look of the image. I think I'm going for this one and if you want to be very detailed and use maybe your branded colors you can change them from here and you also have access to the intensity slider i think i'm gonna leave this image like this and if i go back to this design i can simply take this text ctrl c go to page two and ctrl v if you don't want to use any of these duotone effects you can come back up and click none. Now let me go back and add one of my photos because I want to show you another tool that is so so useful in Canva. So let me increase the size of the photo here and now let's go to edit photo. From here we are going to use magic edit. This one is free to use so let's click on it and now let's brush over an area of my photo. In this case I want to ask canva to add a wolf so after selecting the area where i want the wolf to appear i'm going to click continue and then i'm gonna type add a wolf then click generate and we will see four different options if you don't like these four options you know that you can always click generate new results until you find something that looks good and now look at this result this one i believe it looks decent now let me go and add another page to try something different so let's use this photo go to edit photo and magic edit again this time i want to change the color of my beanie so let's brush over this area and because I'm wearing a blue jacket and a blue backpack why not change color to blue click generate and now as you can see I have four different versions of this beanie in a blue color so I think I'm gonna go with this one click done and to me if you look at this photo quickly it looks very realistic and now i want to show you something else before i show you how to download these images i'm gonna click on the image go to edit photo and because i have a canva pro account i can use the background remover so let me click here and canva will automatically remove the background on my photo so this is just gonna take a couple of seconds it is done as i was talking so i already have a transparent background behind me you can change the color here if you want so i'm clicking on the background of this page just to show you that i have a transparent background behind my photo or basically i removed the background and let me just remove the color from here and now how do we download these images we're gonna go to share we're gonna click download and from here you can select the file type we have all of these options to choose from i'm gonna leave it as png if you are using a canva free account you then have the option to select the page that you want to download if you have multiple pages and then you are going to click download if you have a canva pro account you will have access to these three different options here you can increase the quality of the file that you are going to download let's say that you are going to download a photo like this one in which we don't have a background so i'm gonna select page four and then i'm going to click transparent background to show you later how this is going to look and then if you want you can also compress the file i'm going to download this image i'm going to add a page and i'm going to upload the file that i just downloaded as you can see my photo is here and i don't have any background so let me go to elements i'm going to select a random photo in here 
put it in the background and then position my photo without the background in here and lastly i just wanted to remind you that yes you can play around with your own images but there are plenty of images in the library so you go to elements remember to go to photos see all and then you can search for anything from here so let's say that i want to see a winter landscape and position it behind me so i'm going to drag this photo behind my photo and create pretty cool compositions mixing your photos and the photos in the library.